they get Dennis Smith Jr., a guy who they could have drafted instead of Frank Nilakina. I mean, ha ha, ha ha, right? Okay, I don't even know where to start with this video right now. I don't even know what to say, where to start, but let me just start with this, actually, for real. Uh, disclaimer, I'm, like, super sick right now, so if I sound super disgusting, it is because I'm super disgusting, and yeah, that's why I'm wearing a hat, because my face looks sick. So, yeah, the worst news that made me feel even more sick today is the Knicks trading trading Kristaps Porzingis <sighs> I don't you can't you just can't make this up anymore you just can't make this Nick franchise up anymore all they do is illogical things they're just everlasting disappointment continuous disappointment and making you angry and upset and I just I, I can't even believe it honestly I can't even believe it right now it, it just you it's like what so let me just run you through let me run you through how I found out about this this glorious news. Obviously, I'm saying that sarcastically. So, I had class this morning, or no, this afternoon, and I um, I was going to class, whatever. I was on my phone, and I saw that the Knicks had a meeting with Porzingis, or Porzingis had a meeting with the Knicks, saying he was disappointed in the losing and this and that. And I was like, oh, okay, that's fine. You know, he's hurt. When he comes back, obviously, they're gonna have a better draft pick. Things are gonna be on the up, you know, right? That's fine that he's upset with them losing, you know. That's good leadership, whatever, right? But I obviously didn't get the tone of the meeting, so I stepped out of class to go to the bathroom, and honestly, look, he just blew my nose because I'm sick, and um, TMI there. And I see that Porzingis wants to be traded, and I'm like, what? Whoa. And it said, yeah, the Knicks will look at the deadline. I'm like, okay, well, they'll look. It doesn't mean they're going to do anything, this, that. Um, I was like, maybe that Anthony Davis trade will happen with Porzingis, even though he doesn't want to go there. Um, and... A few days ago, I was like, oh, I don't want to trade Porzingis for... Well, not that I didn't want to trade Porzingis for Davis, because I knew that would, would be a good deal. I just like Porzingis, so I'd be sad to see him go. I mean, he's the unicorn. Well, I mean, he still is a unicorn, just not the New York unicorn anymore. But, yes, yeah, so that now you understand where my head was at a few days ago, where I was just would be understanding but sad if Porzingis was trading for, for, trading for Anthony Davis. Now you must really uh, feel my pain right now. So... Yeah, like I was saying, so I saw that he um, wanted to get traded, and I was like, okay, whatever. I get out of class about 30 minutes later, and I see Porzingis traded to the Mavs. And I'm like, are you kidding me? How did this all just happen so fast? How did this go from here to here within the span of, I don't know, a few minutes, a half hour? Just, what? What? I was literally just sitting there. I was like, what, 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 what is going on? I was like... Is this real life? Literally, that's what I thought. I said, I keep saying literally, but honestly, no. I was like, is this real life? Did this just really happen? Did the Knicks actually just take the first offer that was given to them and just say, okay, bet, cool. We're cool. Good. Good offer, right? Yeah. Is that what the Knicks did? Because it really, it really, it really feels like it. Let me tell you, it really feels like the Knicks just took the first offer that was given to them, didn't even counter anything, and that's how it went. I, you know what? Pro that's probably not what happened, but it really feels like it right now. That's what it feels like to me right now. And the best, the best is they get, what's the return? So... They get Dennis Smith Jr., a guy who they could have drafted instead of Frank Nilakina. I mean, ha ha, ha ha, right? And then they get um, DeAndre Jordan, whose contract is up at the end of this year. See, my voice is kind of cracked because I'm sick. But whose contract is up at the end of this year. So, you know, that's another guy you have to go out and then sign and give money to if he even wants to stay. Because obviously that's not what a lot of players are wanting to do right now, right? And then you get Wesley Matthews. And who the Knicks gave up? They give up Kristaps Porzingis, obviously, because that's who this video is about. They go up Tim Hardaway Jr., which is good, you know, clear some cap. Um, Courtney Lee and Trey Burke. And the thing is this, apparently there's a first round pick that's going to be added in there. Apparently that's going to happen. And let me tell you something, if this is not a 2019 first round unprotect unprotected pick, I'm going to lose my mind, okay? I'm just going to, you know what, it's probably not going to be an unprotected pick. The Knicks are probably like, oh, like, like, just give us like a second round or something, right? They're, that's what they're probably like, right? Oh, gosh. I mean, if, if it's an unprotected first, which it probably won't be, I'll be very, I'll be not very happy. I'll be content. I'll be like, okay, that's good. We'll see how it happens in the lottery, maybe. And they could end up with two top ten picks. That'd be pretty cool, right? I, it's probably not going to happen. It's definitely not. Why am I even saying those words? Why would I even say those words to get myself a little bit excited, right? Because that was the thing. That was the thing this year. I knew they were going to take this year, right? And I would still, you know, watch the games, this and that, and be like, it's okay. 
over the summer, you know? Kristaps is going to be healthy. They're going to have a great pick, maybe draft Zion. And those free agents, those free agents, right? Wow, I mean, they, they might land KD, they might land Kyrie, this and that. I was like, it's going to be okay, right? Well, no, it's not, it's not going to be okay anymore, okay? I don't know why I even gave myself hope. Why I even put hope that the Knicks might actually figure it out, right? Why, why would I do such a silly thing like that? I mean, oh. And the thing is this. Yes, I understand that they cleared cap space and now they have space for two max players, right? Who's going to want to come to the Knicks now, right? After their star player wants to get traded, who's going to be like, okay, now I want to go play for the Knicks. I'm a max player, now I want to go play for the Knicks. Who's saying that? I don't care how much money they're paying these players. I mean, which player is now like, okay, the Knicks seem like a good, they seem like a good team, right? You know, even though Chris Osprey's is their star player that they drafted just asked to be traded, I think, I think I'm going to go there, right? No, no one's going to, it doesn't matter if you have the max of amount of money if no one actually good wants to sign there. Oh, gosh. I'm so worked up right now. Oh my god. It just, it just, it's just, the thing is, this, it's, it's a big fat joke, okay? It's a big joke. It's a big joke. It's comical. It's this and that. And it's just what's gonna happen since I'm a Knicks fan. And I, I feel like they're never gonna win a championship while I'm alive. I'm not even kidding. I'm not even trying to be dramatic with me. It's a little dramatic, but it's, oh my god. It's so bad. It's so bad. It's really, it's really bad. And it's just, you makes you wonder what are they doing. Really, that's. That's what it makes you wonder. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I just yelled a lot. It was definitely really bad for my uh, cold or my sickness or my sinus infection or whatever I got going on. Um, you guys didn't even know that. All right, so make sure you drop a like, comment down below. You can't, don't, just be nice. <laughs> don't be mean, whatever. You can do whatever you want in the comments. Just maybe some support. Um, and make sure you subscribe if you would like to see me when I'm not actually sick, when I'm healthy. All right, guys.